if I had an ASMR channel. Hi, welcome to my ASMR channel. <laughs> no, I don't want to do this part. Welcome to at home with me. Prim. Welcome to my 26 personalities. <laughs> What's up everyone? My name is Chloe Laluz and I am a DJ, creative, multidisciplinary artist from Montreal. And I wanted to create this channel to kind of take my talents to YouTube and um, showcase my live sets as much as, you know, possibly some discussions, obviously around music, uh, maybe some vlogging when I do festivals. I'm not really sure, honestly. I just know that I wanted to bring a visual aspect to my audio sets and I don't know where this channel is gonna take me. I'm not really like a YouTube girly. I mean, you know, I always get like nervous and shy in front of the camera, but here we are. So I'm gonna try to do my best and whatever this turns into, it'll turn into. And also it's like a good way for people who don't know me to get to know me. So music has always been a huge part of my life. You know, even growing up, like I was always burning CDs. I was always making playlists and curating music. I started DJing professionally a short year and a half ago. I absolutely adore it. As I explained, I am an artist. My medium's usually um, acrylic on canvas or acrylic on wood. But shifting to music was really natural. Mixing music is just a different different form of art for me to express myself and so I really enjoy doing that a lot. <laughs> First of all, like I never really wanted to be a club DJ, that's that's one. But I, you kind of get sucked into it when you start, which is fine because it, it allows you to get your name out there, it allows you to play for different crowds, meet different people, which is super cool. But what I really like about the club scene um, is I find that it's evolving. Now it's more like instead of deciding, okay, which club you're gonna go to, it's become which party are you gonna go to, which party are you gonna buy tickets for, and which collective do you want to listen to. Um, I really enjoy that. I think that that's super cool that like now it's collectives that reach out to you and they're like, hey, you know, we wanna book you for an hour here or an hour there. And also collectives, because they're made up of other artists, they tend to respect you and respect your rate. They are really mindful and intentional about paying their artists properly and I respect that, you know, so yeah. So I really respect and love all genres of music and I feel like allowing myself to free flow between sounds is what keeps my style fresh and fun. I like to bounce around different genres and kind of bring up the unexpected. So whether that's, you know, reworking the classics or digging up new sounds from, you know, new producers or other DJs um, alike, I, uh, yeah, that's pretty much kind of where my style is. Um, when it comes to the technical side of things, I'm obsessed with what I call a butter transition, which is basically just seamlessly blending two tracks together. I want my listeners to kind of wonder when did I bring in the second track and not even realize, or just blending sounds that just sound really good together and they can be extremely different. So on my latest project, I blended I'm a piano with Moroccan music and even though you know, you have sounds from North Africa and sounds from South Africa, they just like seamlessly blended really well together. And yeah, that's that's what it's all about for me. It's really just like blending music, um, digging up classics, reworking old tracks, bringing a new style and new flavor to, to things. So I like to play with a lot of looping. I like to loop my first tracks in, give myself the time to bring in my second tracks. So I mean, like if you're a DJ, you know what I'm talking about, but otherwise it's just like really seamless transitions. That's what I'm super interested in. If your selection is tight and your transitions are smooth, yeah, that's Pretty much it. <laughs> I have opened for Rema at Beach Club, Jack Harlow at Metro Metro, Coffee at the Mural Festival. I've opened for B Young. I've also opened for Bombay Stereo um, at the Oceaga Festival after party. Oh my God, it's so tough to choose one song just because my interest in music is so diverse and has so much range and depth that like it's really hard for me to choose one song but I can give you my top three. Does that work? Okay. So first would be number nine by Miguel featuring Lil Yachty. Really into that track right now. Second would be a Back Together by Heart Soul featuring Ron Carroll. That's like a very old school house track that I love. It always puts me in a good mood. Um, and then recently I discovered two female DJs, Mestiza 
and they're from Spain. I really like their track El Brillo. It's like a house track, has flamenco vibes, has Arabic influence, so it really reminds me of home and I'm really into that track right now. You know, being Moroccan and having my roots in Africa, anything that has to do with Africa, African music, it makes me really happy. My favorite place to play in Montreal? That's a really good question. Honestly, I don't think that it really matters what city I'm in because I have played in other places as well. But it's really about connecting with the crowd. As long as you have a crowd that's willing to journey through the music with you, that has an open mind, that's willing to listen and just and just hear what you have to offer and not expecting like the top 40 bangers, which is like not really my thing anyways. It's really fun to play for a crowd like that because you really do feel connected to the crowd and that's a lot of fun. That being said, I don't really like residencies either. I feel like I've been offered a, a few, but I feel like it's just very stagnant and it kind of keeps you in like a same space with the same crowd on a regular basis. So it's not really my thing. I really like to like experiment with different crowds and different people. So I don't really have like a specific location per se, but I love an outdoor venue. Outdoor venues are a lot of fun. And I do love, I just love a really good crowd basically. Like I love a crowd that's open. So I'm not producing yet. Um, it's in the works though. It's definitely something that I'm interested in and it's definitely something I'm leaning into. I'm really intentional about the things that I do. So for me, before I can say I've produced anything, I really want to master like the craft of it all. But yeah, it's definitely in the works. I have some really good ideas up here that I need to put out there. You know, people are always tell me like, when are you gonna start producing? When are you gonna start producing? So I'm definitely gonna get into it eventually. Right now I'm working on a project called Soundscapes. Um, I'm not quite sure what it's gonna be yet. I just need to birth it in order for it to turn into whatever it's gonna be. But I love the word because soundscapes together sounds like escaping through sound and that's often what I do and that's why I love music so much. And basically it's just gonna be a project where I'm releasing, you know, visuals and audio together, um, whether that's me mixing or it could be archival footage from whatever sounds I'm collecting or whatever I'm spinning. Like I'm still kind of trying to piece it all together, but definitely going forward, like I, I want it to be on a platform where it can turn into something. It can turn into a community. So I don't know, maybe that's gonna turn into a party where Soundscapes is gonna be Soundscape parties or where I can showcase other artists. There's so much underground talent that I love to dig up. So many artists, so many other talented DJs, so many talented producers that I really want to put at the forefront. So I kind of want to dedicate my channel to that and as I'm finding these gems, just dig them up, you know, share the track IDs, share the artists, share their work and and showcase it because I think it needs to be seen, you know, and that's that's really what I want to kind of bring out in into this space, you know, so yeah, it's I know the idea is a little bit all over the place. It's not super clear. That's the artist in me. It's like I have a million things at the same time, but I have faith that it'll just piece together as it should eventually over time. And then it will turn into like this beautiful project that I can share with the world. And yeah, it just, it feels good. It's like, it's what I, I know I need to be doing anyway. So that's what I'm here for.